September 1st. It's days like this, I feel gratitude for my dog. We walk outside and she's alert. Posture forwards, tense, nose twitching on a scent. Eyes on her surroundings. Nothing gets by her. Not the grasshoppers and crickets. The deer and the trees. Not the snake nearly under my feet. I do not know if Roxy thinks a sunset is pretty. If she thinks flowers smell nice. If she sees beauty in dewdrops. Whatever she thinks is a mystery. I do know, however, that she notices, that she is aware, and that, and that is a lot more than most of us can say. I do know that dogs' eyes are dichromate, that they can't see the color red. I know imagining another color is beyond me. Could you imagine the wonder she might feel should she be able to see red? Maybe it is to be human to wonder what a dog thinks is beautiful. Maybe it is to be human to miss the beauty in our world while it quickly fades away. National Geographic estimates that we will lose the tiger, the rhino, the orangutan, and the African elephant within the next 12 years. It is startling to think that these four iconic animals will just be like the mammoth, the saber-toothed cat, and the dinosaur to my grandchildren. Not quite real, very much lost. This brings me back to how amazed my dog might feel to see something she didn't know she was missing. Might we appreciate what we have before it is gone? Might we take the time to stop and look around? Might we take the time to breathe in the air before we choke on our destruction? This is not our world, we are loaning it from our children. Might we give it back with dignity? That's all for today. I'll talk to you Tuesday.